Yes, yeah, so in every episode, they, the main saga story will be being pushed forward in every episode. We'll still be doing um, within, like, there's, part of the shape that we take is, like, there's a little bit of, like, a big bad shape, kind of like what like Buffy used to do, you know? But even in, in that, we'll be doing, like, a two to three episode arc, now and then of, like, a villain, like, like a Mr. Freeze will come in. But even in that, the big bad will have a, a hand in it, and you'll see it being pushed forward. A personal, uh, sorry, sorry. a personal thing that I would love to see on the show, I don't know if you guys are thinking about doing it, but The Grey Ghost. Mm. Is that something you guys have thought about doing? No, we actually have never mentioned ah, it. Okay. Right here. I'm, I'm putting it right there. <laughs> <laughs> I logged it away. Yeah. yeah, you know, when you the rogues gallery is, or the, not the rogues gallery, but just like the pantheon of those the characters are so, so huge. It's like, you do feel like you have a lot to go to. Yeah. Tough. I'll put it in. Question. Yes, yes. Did you feel there was a tonal issue at all in season one of the Sense. Yeah. Yeah. What, okay. It, it just felt like things would be like very grounded. Yeah. And very over the top. And yeah. It would make me crazy. <laughs> no, no. I, you know, you know, I, I do think a lot of with a, a lot of uh, a lot of first year shows, you spend a lot of time finding the show. Yeah. You know, and. Um, and I think we did a lot of that in season one. Like, okay, is it a procedural? Is it more police work? Is it? Um, are we going to like push the boundaries of like the like the supervillain world and have people take, take drugs and become really strong? Okay, that's terrible. We're not going to do that anymore. Um, are we going to have like a serial killer? No, that doesn't feel right. So like we kind of like we kind of like shifted all around until we started finding what we felt like was like, much more like a tone that we were happy with. Um, but that's just like the process. And hopefully, when you do these shows, like you're on the air long enough to find what that tone is. And I do feel like in season two we've really locked it in. Well, what mean, is that tone? How would you describe it? That's why I thought it's really hard to like. It? Yeah, it was hard to kind of like articulate what exactly that. It's like I like that like that judge whoever it was used to talk say about pornography. He goes, I can't describe it, but I know it when I see it. Right. It's a little bit like, like when you hit the right tone, you're like, oh yeah, that's that's, that's the voice of our show. But do you think the highs would work down a little bit? Like you know what I mean, those sort of over the top elements. Or? Um, two, yeah, yes. I also feel like the over top ele top elements we did last year, we just didn't execute quite as well as we could. Have. You know, because there is definitely an evolutionary shift that's happening this year, where like season one was like a kind of a Falcon Maroney like mob version of. Gotham. Season two, we start push, taking this uh, like an evolutionary step towards the, the creation of supervillains. So then, season three, that'll change. So it's like we do want to move towards that world, you know. But it, it is like you know, boiling a frog. You want to do it slowly. And when you get there, because then by the time you arrive at those characters, if you ever want to do like a killer croc or whatever, you want to do a realistic version of it. But you want to do something cre have created a world where that character can live, you know. So I think that'll be exciting. Have we seen the last of Fish Mooney and can you tease any of the other villains that we will be seeing this year? Yes. You've seen the last you might have seen the last of Fish Mooney, you might not. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll leave a big question mark on that one. Uh, this year we'll also be seeing uh, Victor Freeze make an appearance. Uh, we'll see Fire the origins of Firefly. I think it'll be a, the, that story will be it's a different uh, origin story for Firefly. Um, we We'll see the flamingo. is one of my favorites. <laughs> Joker. What's that? Joker the Joker. Uh, you, we will see the beginnings of the Joker. Oh, a Joker story. I'll put it that way. Not camera and monitor. You gotta, you gotta watch the first three episodes and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. We have, we have a very specific take on how we want that story to play out. And it does play out on the first three episodes of the, of the show. What kind of actor are you searching for for Mr. Freeze? What does he bring, have to bring to the table? I know. It's, uh, he just has to do a really good Arnold impersonation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you know, I really, I, honestly, I, I'm, I'm not sure. It's like a, that, that's going to happen. I think he'll he'll make an appearance like later on in the season, so we have some time to think about it. But you want it to be someone who's above anything to me, like empathetic, um, because he does have an emotional story at heart. I mean, that is the core of his origin story, and so you want someone that you feel for first and foremost. So I don't know. Bruce is moving towards. Oh, thank you so much. For you. The way Bruno's making it sound is like yeah. he's moving much more towards not becoming Batman, but I mean, in the psychological. You know? Psychologically, he is. I mean, like the you know the theme of like the theme of so much of Batman, and, and we've really kind of adopted a kind of hardcore through the season season two is the idea of like the duality of personality. Like you can be one thing, or you can be another thing. You know, and you watch all these characters make that shift that from like one thing, bad version, not bad version, but obvious version. Barbara is good, then she becomes evil. Like he was good, then he becomes a Riddler, and he will tic tac back. And so one thing Bruce is going to do this year, because season one Bruce was so 
forthright and he was always so honest. He was like, he was, you know, that person. You can start to see him like make that fissure in his personality. Okay, he's like, if I'm going to succeed in what I'm doing, I have to learn, learn to like put a different face out to the public and become a different person. And the creation of the Bruce Wayne persona, while like the person we've seen in season one, that would be the person who becomes Batman. That makes sense. What are we going to see for Jim Gordon this season? Um, well. It, it kind of goes along the same line too. Like Jim Gordon's gonna that same line of like kind of good and evil and how dark can you go? And some people will go into the darkness and not come back. Some people will come back. Jim Gordon will step over that line again in his quest to try to save Gotham and like you know, restore it. He's gonna like try to like, acquire power because he says this city is so corrupt. Only if I am like a like the most powerful person in Gotham, essentially, can I save the city that I love. And it's a classic noir trope of the more you look into the darkness, the darkness looks into you, and he sees it start changing him, and then he has to kind of try to pull himself out. It's gonna be he's gonna be put through the ringer. Can you talk about the challenge of doing 22 episodes and how many will season two have? Uh, and how many? Sorry, what? How many episodes will season two have? Uh, season two has 22. Okay. It's a it's a huge challenge, you know. Um, it's hard to like. It's just hard to conceptualize like a, a full 22 episode season as in one cohesive story, you know, that's always pushing the story forward. Um, that's why we a lot of times break them into chunks. And this year, like, it worked out really well because we're airing in two 11 episode consecutive chunks, so we can really chart, chart out at the whole season as two arcs, you know, that will climax at, a, at Christmas at 11 and then climax again in the spring. Yeah, which I think it, this the scheduling work will work in our favor this year. Um, and it's it's all it's also like this physical draining, you know, like when you're doing that many episodes because you feel like there's this monster chasing you. 